no, you're not being fair. This is my cousin's wedding. This is important to me. Well, I don't understand why you're mad. Okay, stop I'm talking. angry because you constantly ignore what we expect of you. I can't believe you. What do you think you're doing hitting on my sister? I would like for you to give me an opportunity. Look, don't raise your voice at me. I just didn't think she got what she wanted. I, I mean, she was trying to please her because she wanted to keep her job. Get over here, Zach. But I also think those words are empty, given your uh, recent history. You want to try for 10 days? I can't always get to a phone and call you or tell you I'm going to be late. I mean, what do you expect me to do? No, no, no. it's your tone, baby. You're not okay. sounding calm. This is ridiculous. The Real Deal is a structured, video-based anger management program for groups of six to eight students. Really the program employs yeah. rational it emotive behavior strange, therapy. It's true. It's not what's true in the world at point A that counts. It's not what's actually happening. It's what you think is happening. That will Progressive muscle relaxation now. training. Feel that tension develop there in the chest muscles. Identify where the contractions are coming from and relax and a social like skills component you. to help students develop alternative ways of coping with anger and conflict. Dr. King. Yes, you can. Go ahead. All right. I would like for you to give me an opportunity to prove to you Good. and to myself Good. that I can and I am responsible that's Two on-screen facilitators lead a group of students through the instructional and role-playing portions of the program, providing an experiential model for your class to follow. The narrator also supplies specific instructions for in-class activities within the program. Remember, these could be situations where you attempted to tell someone you're upset with something they said or did, or you told someone to stop doing something. Or it could be a situation like Cole's, where you'd like to give somebody negative feedback but you don't think you could pull it off without starting an argument or a fight. Write these down on your cards, along with the outcomes. As soon as you're done, share your situations with your group. The Real Deal is divided into three specific target skills for the students. Taking it, receiving negative feedback or criticism. Giving it, properly expressing negative feedback or criticism. And working it out, covering the skills of negotiation and compromise. Each video consists of three chapters with on-screen instructions and demonstrations to guide your group through that chapter's exercise. So what I like to do is to set up this one with Cole, with your situation with your dean that you were saying followed you around school, left school, followed you down the street, okay? And you know, Cartes, I remember from the other role plays, you talked about what it was like to have a dean harass you when you were late. So obviously you could probably be in the mindset of what a dean might be like, acting like when he comes at Cole. So why don't we have you be the dean, and Cole, you're gonna have to try and create an opportunity for yourself to come in and talk to the dean about the behaviors that have been really annoying to you. In addition, part one, taken it, also includes an additional sequence to help further explain the cognitive model. The thing that most people make a mistake over, and this is one of the key concepts in this whole set of skills, is that most people mistakenly believe that A's cause C's. We talk that way, we think that way, we explain our world that way. If A's don't cause C's, what do cause C's? B's cause C's. Now the question is, what happens at point B? Now when you run into a situation at point A, before you wind up feeling and acting at point C, what do you think you do? One word. You think about it. And the way you think about it will determine how you wind up handling it. And a demonstration of relaxation techniques. Slightly bend your elbows, tighten your fists, tighten them now. Now release. Which can be performed using the included relaxation audio CD. Let your arms drop gently. Let the feeling of relaxation take over in your biceps, your lower arms, your hands, and your fingers. The Real Deal comes complete with three DVDs or VHS tapes, a leader's guide which provides a complete overview of the program, quick reference guide which provides simple instructions on running the program, and sets of skill cards for student use. The DVDs are authored with individual chapter menus and links to allow your class to easily replay segments within each chapter. Use of the skill cards is at the heart of the Real Deal program. 
Each video has its own card with bullet point descriptions to reinforce the skill steps from that lesson and areas to allow students to write down their own experiences as they analyze them using the four-step cognitive process. There's four steps you need to go through. They're listed on the inside of the card. First, what were you thinking to yourself? Do you want to try for a suspension? Right, at that moment, right there, tell me, what do you think he was thinking? The narrator will prompt your class when to use their cards, and the program is structured to allow for natural breaks between watching the video and student participation in activity. In your situation, what were you thinking? Was respect or fairness an issue? What was true and what wasn't true? Write down a brief statement using a preference. I want, I'd like, it would be better if. Hang on to the card and we'll get back to it later. The videos are divided into chapters to provide maximum flexibility in scheduling. Each chapter requires a minimum of an hour-long class period to incorporate both viewing the video and the interactive participation exercises. What we're gonna do is now watch for these skill steps in the video. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, what up? All right, look, you know we've known each other for a long time, you know, and you've always been straight with me. But I heard yesterday that you've been trying to talk to my sister. Like, you know she's only 14. Yeah, that's not right, man. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Oh, but it's not what you think. I mean, I was just kidding around with her like I always do. But it didn't mean anything. All right. Well, your kidding around looks like something else to other people. And it makes me look bad when other people talk about it. So I'd appreciate it if you back off messing with it. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for listening. Yeah, no problem. Amy, let's see. How do you think he handled step three? He did it with a calm tone of voice and he wasn't yelling or physically threatening his friend. Did he use eye messages? Did he talk about yeah. I heard, and, I felt? And facial expressions, yeah. Okay. Did he attack? No. Was he putting the other guy down? No. Was he yelling, swearing? No. Okay, so he stayed calm, used positive language, talked about how he felt about the situation. Good. Additional role-playing time and feedback discussions can be scheduled for subsequent sessions, allowing you to tailor the amount of time needed to run the program in its entirety. The Real Deal is designed to allow the students to not only be exposed to the skills and concepts of cognitive behavioral techniques, but to put them into practice in role-playing exercises and discussions on their own personal experiences. I just didn't think she got what she wanted. I, I mean, she was trying to please her because she wanted to keep her job. And I saw that she needed her to babysit anyway. So okay. I think she could have used her leverage in a better way to get what she wanted. Good feedback. So you're saying in terms of what is it that Delana wanted, you don't feel like she got it, it wasn't really her. I mean, she's saying, oh, you're just a kid, you don't have anything to do. I, I know I got stuff to do in the summer. I don't want to just sit around and watch TV all day. But that's actually what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Given that chance, students are more likely to be able to handle anger-producing situations more effectively. The issue of giving it, where you want to initiate a, a, a confrontation or a conversation uh, with somebody when they're doing something that either may be bugging you or you want them to stop doing something, you'd like them to start doing something that they haven't been doing, that they ought to be doing, or maybe you want them to change their behavior in some way. The Real Deal is not a quick fix intervention in addressing anger management in the adolescent population. What this program offers is a way to deliver the power of a cognitive behavioral relaxation program in a small group setting using a cost-effective video-based model.